Hi, and welcome to your next lecture in computer science for everyone. We're moving into the next section, and we're going to talk about data types in a bit more detail. In this lecture, we'll go through Boolean values. I mentioned that there was a mathematician called George Boole who invented Boolean logic and the true and false. Um, he's regarded as one of the founders of computer science. And he came up with a few things, some of which we've seen, some of which we haven't seen yet. And here are a couple examples of some things we have and we haven't seen. The first one is Boolean x equals true. We've seen that. And we can assign a true or false directly to a Boolean value, a Boolean variable, rather. We have 5 equals equals 5. That value is to true. And we've seen the equals equals operator already. And we can assign the outcome of that comparison to the variable y. In this case, it would be true. Finally, we haven't seen ampersand ampersand, that and and symbol. And that just means if both y and x are true, we assign that to z. So in this case, x is true and y is 5 equals equals 5, which is true. So both are true. y and x are both true and therefore z is true. If either of them were not true, z would be false. So true can be assigned directly, or as a comparison, or as an addition. The same applies for false. Here we have boolean x equals false. We can add, do that directly. Boolean y is 5 is less than 5. 5 is not less than 5. It is actually equal to 5. And therefore y is also false. However, z is true because it is not x. That exclamation mark means not, or the inverse. So the inverse of x is true because x is false, and so z is true. So this is the symbol table. We have seen two of the symbols in here, but not the last one. The first one is two ampersand signs that in British keyboards is uh, shift 7 and I'm not sure in other keyboards because I am using a British keyboard but I'm sure you can find the ampersand sign somewhere and two ampersand signs mean and so in this case 5 equals equals 5 is true 10 is greater than 6 is true so true and true evaluates to true as well then the second sign is or which is two pipes the pipe in a British keyboard is at the bottom left of the key, so you can type right uh, of shift and above control and alt in the left side of the keyboard. I'm sure you can find this symbol as well. It is not the pipe that has a space in the middle of it. So make sure you're finding the correct pipe that is uh, just one straight line. And this means or, so one is written two is false but 6 is greater than 3, so false or true values to true. Um, simply because you take, you, you evaluate the whole expression to true if any of them is true. Finally, the last one is the exclamation mark, and we've seen this already, it means not. So 5 is not greater than 6, so 5 greater than 6 is false, but not false is true because it is the inverse. So... We used booleans in if statements, and we've seen that between the brackets of the if statement, or while loops, we've seen that between the brackets of the while loop, such as in here. If some boolean is true, then we do something. And similarly, while some boolean is true, we repeat something many times. So this is pretty much everything you need to know about booleans, including how to add them using and or or, and also how to compare them with all the symbols that we've seen in a previous section. In the next um, presentation, we're going to be going over a bit more detail about strings and characters. So stay tuned, and let's go to that one.